lovely kids children i hope you all are at your best of your health and staying safe at home and today i have come up with a very interesting poem hide and seek which is in your english reader book and it is written by vernon scannell children through this poem the poet is describing all the excitement about the child who is playing this game and i hope you all have also played this game many a times and you have sweet memories of this game so before i summarize the poem let us understand the meanings of the difficult words given in your book children as you can see on the board we have the difficult words and its meaning so the first word is tool shed which means a shed to keep tools in the next word is prowling which means moving quietly now the next word is scuffle which means to go or move in a hurried confusion the next word is whispering which means speaking very softly next we come to the word hushed which means quiet and serious next is stumbles which means almost falls next is mutters which means speaks in a low voice now last one is damp which means slightly wet so children with this i hope that you will have understood all the meanings of the difficult words given in the poem hide and seek poem is written by john vernon scannell children this is a very interesting game as you all must have played and must be having sweet memories of playing this as we all know childhood is the most pleasurable time in life we play many games and hide and seek is one of them now through this poem the poet is describing the childhood game and he's tracking the stages of excitement the discomfort loneliness the child is experiencing while playing this the child starts to play the game hide and seek with all his excitement and enthusiasm he selects a crafty place to hide himself and is assured that nobody will be able to find him in spite of the fact that he is very uncomfortable he takes that relief that no one will be able to catch him the child hides himself behind the sacks in the tool shed which smells like the sea side he curls himself in a way so that his feet are not visible and sits quietly so that no voice is heard from his side however in the end the child gets tired of hiding the smell was getting thicker and his friends were not able to hear him because they were not nearby and finally he decides to leave the area and move out and then at last it shows that disappointment that the child was not able to end up the game with his friends and remains completely alone children i hope you all must have found this poem very very interesting and i also hope that you have understood the poem well Thank you so much students